Somebody call the law, somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. Oh, they, so they just opened a the franchise. They, they, they opened up one called the Cookie Plug. And I'm saying, like, is it appropriation? Is it appropriate or appropriation? It depends on the person. I mean, if that's their brand standard, then that's their brand. But white people opening up a place, they said like, it was all a dream. A franchise that they purchased from another person. I guess. Maybe they bought it from some black it's, people. Maybe, I don't know. They, they say it's based out of California. Okay, so, so this, well, it's not appropriation. They're just, that's just buying another Zach. It was all a dream. Maybe they live in a dream. So you, so you tell me I can't own a hair store? Yes, you can. Chinese, see, that's that, that was, that's what I'm getting to. Mm-hmm. Hold on, Charlene. Hold on, hold on, baby. Ha ha ha. You see, that's what I'm saying. I just think it's kind of crazy now. You get purple drink, purple drink. You selling two cups of, of uh, like you said, like, like you said, they it's a franchise, so they can't change the name because they're white. Nah, nah. Thick cookies. Is this appropriate? You can't feel? No. Oh. Your own charge. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just put this cord. That cookie look good. That do look thick. I'm saying, is it appropriate or appropriation? I, I, I don't know. That's I it's kind of appropriate. It's a little like that double cup purple drink. I put that cord. It's definitely appropriation. I don't like that appropriation shit anymore. Cultural appropriation. Like, what is like? I, I, it has to be like a certain situation for me to feel like it's appropriation. I think a lot of things that get called appropriation aren't necessarily appropriation. Mm. All I know is them with some appropriately thick ass cookies. They call thick cookies too. They call they them cookies was thick as fuck. And that good. purple drink was double cup. So double cup. It's a drug reference. See, the, see, I was trying to play devil's advocate because the simple fact is Arabs and Indians, they come over here and open up them gas stations in here, right? And the shit they sell at these gas stations is sold nowhere else but in the black community. The shit they sell out of them. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody sells They sell into their customs. But, but I'm saying, <laughs> if you went to any other gas station, they got weed scales, weed bags, false bottoms. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, grinders, plethora of incense blunts, and so you said blunts. I can't get no grinder from the Wawa. You can't. <clears throat> you can't. You right. You can't. You can't. I ain't never seen one. I Only A rap stores one. they sell shit like that. Like nigga, that you go to an A rap store and get a a black tea, white tea, red tea, blue. Like, yep. You can't go to straight up BP Marathon Shell and get these same things. So are you saying they're wrong? Catering to their area? Catering? Like, like they're buying, but they think it's going to sell. No, 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 no. They know it's going to sell. Shit. You remember back in our day, it was 40s and shit. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, y'all don't get what I'm saying. Like, how is this store allowed to only sell this stuff in this neighborhood? I mean, I'm sure they're allowed to sell it other places. Why don't they? Cause that's not the crowd they're trying to bring in. They're not trying to bring in the alcohol. Y'all can't play dumb forever, man. Come on now. Dumb. I ain't playing dumb. I know what you're saying, but these other stores, like I these think big it's chains, sell black t-shirts at the gas station, because in impoverished neighborhoods, it's not um, it's as, as accessible to run to Walmart if you don't have a car. If you're in a, in a poor na- neighborhood. Do poor neighborhoods go hand in hand sometimes with being a black neighborhood? Yes, of course. We're in There's more Dollar Generals in in than there are WalMarts. Yeah, <laughs> in more poor neighborhoods also. Yeah, yeah because and, because there's a lack of uh, grocery stores. Y'all crazy? Y'all not gonna make me look like I'm the one crazy. I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think you're crazy. I, I just think. think There's reasoning for, but but I'm saying like how are they allowed to do that, like they. Their store, they can sell the fuck they want. No, you can't. You 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 can get locked up for the shit they selling though. They got a fucking. Not sure you can get locked. Like, to go into the store. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure if they're 
they they got a spray. They got a they got a fucking Pepsi can that opens up the bottom of you can hide your weed in. They selling that on the counter they, at the they store. Sell, but if you get caught detox. with it, they sell detox. They sell shit. That's not illegal to have. Is it shit? Some of that shit illegal to have. You can't. You can't say. You can't. Well, then when they get caught, they get fined. If you get caught, no, I'm saying they they ain't, they not getting caught by selling the shit. Because they're not advertising it as a, a drug scale or weed bags. They're called jewelry bags or they're called digital hand a digital food scale or some shit like that. That's bullshit. It's all about what you're calling it, yo. Bro, I want, should, they can't. They you can't tell a person what they're gonna do with the scale. I just want to just only fit, sell it. Let me get some twelve twelves or some fifteen fifteens. Yeah. Get you ain't right say there. you ain't Bang. say let me get some let me get some weed bags. You ain't gonna walk in and be like, let me get a crack pipe. That too. In Detroit I see you can go in there and buy a fucking Brillo pad. One Brillo pad. Mm-hmm. Steel wool. Yeah. You probably can you probably can too. But I'm saying ain't, ain't that fucking crazy? That you That's can, crazy as fuck. That you can buy a fucking Brillo pad, one out the damn pack. Like, I've been in that, the store, motherfucker. Like, Yo, let, me, let me get a. I'm like, what? You buying a Brillo pad? What about a Brillo pad? So, in a more affluent neighborhood, there's not going to be a need. So, of course, they're not going to sell it at the local affluent neighborhood gas station, okay? Right. There's nobody going to be looking for it. I'm not saying nobody, but hardly anybody. But you ever seen anybody else that own the gas station except them? You ever seen a nigga that own the A-Rap store? When I mean A-Rap store, I'm talking about the shit that they sell inside of the A-Rap store. Nah. Bro, they sell, they sell nigga I shit. I ain't never seen a black person selling that shit. Right. They're, like, I ain't, I ain't seen no nigga own no gas station. You seen a couple of them periodically. Because whoever give, whoever give out the licenses for gas stations. Don't give them the niggas. No, they don't give them the niggas. Lottery. We ain't seen no nigga said no lottery, liquor. No, none of that. None of that, bro. None of that. They, we either working for them or working for but them. But they put it's that like, shit right in the neighborhood. Nigga, you go up and down the they streets. They get together and help each other. Fun. Their families get together. They manipulate they the system. And manipulate the system. They manipulate the system. You can see them in there I for mean, seven years somebody. and you see another one in there if seven I, years after I that. I'll be on board to, to, to come together and do some shit like that. I said, I need an A-Rab to get a front man. I look, hey man, open up me and run fucking liquor store. Come here. I said, I'm saying, if you see that liquor store, there's always somebody in there every seven there's years, a, a different one. Liquor stores you can, uh, liquor licenses you can have in Florida. Yeah, but they don't mean shit. That, that's so across the street. They sell liquor. They sell some kind of little deal. Huh? They sell them at my store over here. Like It ain't malt. It's liquor. They sell liquor. They sell fireball. Fireball. It's a different type of fireball. They sell not, um, vodka. It's, it's like, not, it's a low it's percentage. It's a low. But they sell it. But they sell it. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. I just think it's appropriate. I don't know, man. They got, like I said, they got this place called. Big shout out to them. I heard they got one in New Bern. <laughs> With this place called the Cookie Plug. But I'm just saying, I just think it's kind of. They got one of them in New Bern. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Damn. I was looking it up. Um, but I'm saying, I think that's, I don't know if this appropriate or appropriation that they, like you, you got the, um, we call it Charlie. When you say the, um, it's a franchise, so they're allowed, they got to open up the stuff inside of the franchise business, the what it is. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying it's like, nobody want to pay a nigga, everybody want to be a nigga. You, you feel me? This is fucking white woman, mm-hmm. Becky. Selling purple drink. Selling, it it was all a dream. Maybe Becky grew up on hip hop. Right, maybe you don't know what her situation is. Y'all seen this one, man? Sorry, man. Thick cookies with T H I C C. They selling nigger. That's what they selling. They selling nigger. Maybe they got a nigger CEO that sell nigger. Y'all, fuck y'all, man. Doreen you Waters got, you, and her you, husband, you, you Michael, find, opened up a cookie shop on Mass Avenue. Now. It's a California yeah, franchise yeah, called Cookie Plug. It has graffiti on the walls, hip-hop references, and phrases and slang usually associated with drugs. We selling cookies. That's all they want. But the details are there, from boxes with money. This white woman by selling black 
thick ass cookies. <laughs> Black Look at this woman. Like, oh my God. How y'all doing? Y'all like one. Y'all wrong, I'm right. <laughs> Charlene, Charlene, open up a cookie plug. That's different. She from the hood. You don't know shit about her. She might be from the hood. But even if she's not, she caught a bonnet from a black CEO who's profiting off of black... Um, Culture. She, culture, yeah. She looked like she got a black mom in law. But I'm saying right. it but is is it fair for her to do that? That's what to, she wanted. To do that shit and put that shit in the nigga neighborhood, selling nigga shit, selling double cup purple drink. It's lemonade by the way, the, the purple drink. <laughs> she not she don't got it in the white neighborhood, so she not gonna sell that shit she not gonna She probably exactly. in the white neighborhood selling that. She a nap time. All right, y'all. I don't know what where, yeah. where people feel like know. you can monopolize like a whole whole thing. Like it was all a dream. Purple drink, thick cookies, the plug, the cookie plug. That's selling nigga. I mean, I don't know. This ain't the audience. I'm, I'm I ain't got the right audience for what I'm spewing out. That's what I'm saying. The drink lean, because that's what purple drink is. What lean? Oh, you want to you want in on the your name, Charlie? So you? No. Oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Bowers, what up? I tell you, the note. I am the greatest nigga of all time. You write the note. I don't know. I just think people cry appropriation too often. And most I, I time, made I, this, most of the time it's not even the people that's being appropriated. It ain't. It ain't. I made that. That's my own title. I made it up. I said I had to make be something clever. I said, "Is it appropriate or appropriation?" Maybe I didn't. Sh- maybe I shouldn't have put that word out there. Is it fucking right? That this white woman is selling nigga shit to the niggas. See, you putting it in a different context now. That's what I meant. Maybe the title. But that maybe, the title didn't say that. <laughs> I know, maybe, maybe I fucked up on the title. I, I mean, I ain't Captain Thesaurus, nigga. Come on, <laughs> Captain what? Captain the. I got big teeth. Don't make me bite myself. What? Shut up, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Thesaurus. Captain Dictionary. Start glitching right now. Shut up, man. Don't say what? Captain Dictionary. Oh, man. Captain Dictionary. Oh, man. Captain Dictionary. Oh, man. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think, wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.